Greetings, everyone. This is Pastor Dave. He's coming back to you with something from Psalm 32, verses 6 and 7, written by David after he had sinned with Bathsheba and been restored. Goes on for the first five verses, talking about how his sin is something that has been forgiven and covered, and it's blessed is the man who has that situation. Then he goes on to talk about how his bones were crushed and they deteriorated within him as he held on to his sin and he didn't let it go. And then when he finally let it go and he asked for forgiveness and he confessed, which is to agree with God, how he was freed up and how the Lord forgave him. Then he proceeds on to verse 6 and 7. He says, For this cause everyone who is godly shall pray to you. For in a time when you may be found... Surely in a flood of great waters they shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble, and you shall surround me with songs of deliverance. And then he has a little sela, which is a, a rest or a, a musical um, indication of just, uh, that's where it stops, kind of an exclamation point. He says, so... This cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to you. My goodness, you would hope so, right? If we're in the middle of struggling with our own failures and our own shortcomings, that we would cry out to God because he's the only one who can make right our heart. He's the only one who can forgive us of our sins and this degradation that happens from within as we hold on to it. And you would think and you would hope for this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray unto him. Uh, you can lay in a couch and tell someone else and pay them great deals of money for long periods of time, and that will not alleviate you of your sin. You can get on the phone and tell people. You can text them. You can do all of that. But without talking to God about it, we're not going to be relieved of our guilt because it's against really the Lord himself that we sin. And so everyone should be praying to him, and everyone sins. All fall short of God's glory. And he says, They shall pray to you in a time when you may be found. It's a rather interesting thing that the scripture exhorts us to approach God while he may be found. I'm not sure he's going on vacation. I'm not sure he's going to disappear. In fact, I'm pretty sure he won't. But things that happen to the condition of our heart as we hold on to things, we tend to wander further and further from him. And so it's better to keep short accounts and release whatever it is that we have and confess and agree with God and say the same thing, homologia, which is uh, that word for confess. And when we do that, we know that uh, we can do that when he's found and it's earlier than later is always better. And then it says a promise, surely in a flood of great waters, they shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Any of you who have been redeemed understand what it is to release your sins and confess them to the Lord and have him forgive, but not only forgive, but to cleanse of unrighteousness. When that occurs, he is our hiding place. When difficult things come, and he uses a flood as an example When hardship comes, he is our hiding place. Uh, I think of Corrie Ten Boom. She wrote the book Hiding Place from this very text and where she was shielding Jews from being persecuted and murdered by Hitler in, uh, in the reign of Germany. I think of the Lord as our hiding place because David certainly found him to be so. And he says, you shall preserve me from trouble and you shall surround me with songs of deliverance. If you know anything about what it is to know the Lord, he'll bring a joy to your heart and a song to your lips, something that will just go over and over in your mind, and he'll surround you with songs of deliverance, praying that today you would have this deliverance and that the songs of deliverance might fill your mind and your lips as joy would attend your way today because you are redeemed and forgiven. Amen. (music) 